Last week, NVIDIA released the RTX 5060 Ti in two variants, a 16GB model and an 8GB model. And while we've already done a deep dive into the 16GB model, let's see how the 8GB model compares. Is it worth saving a few bucks for half the VRAM? And starting off at 1080p, we can see that our sample of the 5060 Ti 8GB from GainWord is basically tied with the reference RTX 5060 Ti with 16GB. That puts both these cards ahead of the RX 7700 XT, the RTX 4060 Ti, and the RTX 3060 Ti. This is all at ultra quality settings, and even going to the minimum FPS, we see that the cards are basically tied, with both cards delivering 86 FPS at all times. And when looking at the average performance, both cards are producing around 107 FPS. But what happens when we bump up the resolution to 1440p? Well, at ultra quality settings, the RTX 5060 Ti now produces 5% extra performance with 16GB versus our GameWord Ghost at 8GB. This is a bigger performance delta than we see with the RTX 4060 Ti variants, though both those models have lower performance and are using PCIe Gen 4, which can limit the performance gains from a 16GB card. This performance delta remains basically the same when looking at the minimum FPS, with the 16GB model getting about 64 FPS and the 8GB model getting 61. In practice though, the actual performance difference between them is only about 2 FPS, and if you played with lower quality settings, they should be effectively tied. None of these cards are really designed to play at 4K, but if you were foolish enough to try that, you'd find that the 8GB card really is not a 4K card, with the 16GB model now being 26% faster. That puts the 5060 Ti 8GB below the 4060 Ti 16GB, and basically tied with Intel Arc B580. Isolating for the minimum FPS doesn't really change things, but with even the 5060 Ti 16GB model producing less than 45 FPS, you'd probably want to lower down the settings anyway, which would then reduce the margin between the two cards. And speaking of settings, let's talk about ray tracing, which really is the Achilles heel of the 8GB cards. Due to the extra VRAM demands from enabling ray tracing, it does push the 16GB cards to being 19% faster at 1080p, which then jumps to 46% faster at 1440p, and winds up being a colossal 79% faster at 4K. And that puts an interesting wrinkle into the discussion when it comes to value. We bought this card ourselves, and we are able to buy the card at MSRP, which, for this card, is $380. At that price, it compares pretty well to the 3060 Ti at $300, as well as being a better value than the RTX 4060. And it's obviously a better value than the 5060 Ti 16GB. And with NVIDIA cards being known for ray tracing and frame generation, it really has to be since this card isn't that great at either of those, since both of them require extra VRAM. But if neither of those things are deal breakers for you, and if you can get it at MSRP or better yet below MSRP, it does become a great value when it comes to 1080p gaming. Though you may need to adjust your settings for VRAM sooner rather than later.